friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And it's Monday and I'm really busy, but I want to show you what I'm doing today. First off, let's look at the garden. Look at this. Look at my cabbages. And look at the peppers since they've been put in here. Even the tomatoes are doing amazingly well. These are my Spanish onions and they're doing really well. And even my leeks have perked up. So yeah, garden's doing really, really well. You don't need another update yet. This is your update for the garden. Our bread is rising. And I'm going to make smothered pork chops for supper. Let's do that. Okay, so right here is um, dehydrated potato slices. I just covered them in boiling water and I've been letting them soak. We have sliced mushrooms, canned mushroom soup. Since we have it, we're going to use fresh carrots and fresh celery and onions. Let's get started. Alrighty. First things first, we're going to get our frying pan heating up with a little bit of olive oil, droplets of water in it, and when they snap and crackle, you got it. Now we're just going to sear these on one side and then the other while we do our vegetables here. Okay, I have flipped them, a little bit of salt, not too much because the mushroom soup is salty, a little bit of pepper, and we're just going to let them brown on the one side, on the other side, I'm going to pour the water off these potatoes, and I'm just going to start cutting the veg into the bowl with the potatoes. Now it's two, it's almost three in the afternoon, so I've got to put my crock pot on high to have this done for six o'clock. But the potatoes are cooked, the vegetables are raw. All right. And I'm going to um, cut up the peel and cut up the carrots and celery and put it in the strainer. These are my vegetable scraps from the other day. I save these now because I'm getting chickens um, to raise, and I'm saving all my vegetable scraps. So that I can like put them in the blender and then give them to the chickens. So let's just do this first. And get them in there. You want the carrots fairly small and thin because you want them to cook. Let's check on our pork chops. Nice. They, these are going into the crock pot now. Brown side up. There we go. Let's get them into the crock pot. All right, we're going to get these. Lay these down, line them up in the bottom of the crock pot. Well, there's more, three would have been the ideal amount. They're in the crock pot just like that. Another carrot. So 
So we have two carrots, two stalks of celery, two onions, and approximately two potatoes. Now I'm using partially dehydrated potatoes, folks. If you're using fresh, don't add any water to this if you're using all fresh vegetables, okay? That was close to my finger. Now let's rinse these. You want these on top of the meat because they have the most cooking to do. And then our onions and our potatoes. Here go our canned mushrooms. Here we're gonna take out this mushroom soup. And we're just going to kind of cover this all over the top a little bit. Just like that. This is why it's called smothered pork chops. On goes the lid. And the cover. And we'll see you in about three hours. Alrighty. And I just checked on this and stirred it and everything. Look at that. I'll shut this right off and we'll fish out a couple of pork chops. See how they're nice and browned on the one side? So there we go. Look at this. Look. Whoops. You're not getting my pork chops. Mm -mm -mm. There is a reason they call this smothered pork chops, folks. Look, look at that. Let's pepper this and take it to Howard. So this is smothered pork chops. Mm. I used uh, potato slices, uh, dehydrated potato slices. Mm. Oh, you. Seriously, goo? Uh, carrots, right. celery, uh, mushrooms, mushroom soup, and it's not too salty because the vegetables gave off their own juice. There go. Are you going to share? Of course. What do you say, Grace? Thanks, honey. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, that's food that really schmecks, right? You see that coming back? Smothered pork chops, exactly as it sounds, but twice as delicious as it looks. Take care, God bless. Mm -hmm.